Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode of Tech News. So today, Hidayat and myself will have a discussion about one of the most important topics as professionals, yet nobody talks about this, which is the subject of how to properly give and receive feedback. So what do you think, Hidayat? Hi, Abdallah. Thanks. Um, so basically what we are going to talk, uh, we have this discussion multiple times, how to receive or how to get feedback. Before to get into that, Abdallah, uh, I'd like to explain to you what is a feedback from my perspective. Okay. Uh, again, it's not any book, it's just a way to help people to understand first and foremost that feedback, what it is about. It's irrespective of the field, be it in IT, be it in accounting, be it everywhere you are, you will get feedback. There are, there are kinds of feedback. There is one which we often refer to as compliment. So you will congratulate someone for their achievement. It's similar to when someone is um, complimenting a lady, telling them they have like, your, your, your eyes are angelic, right? Uh, similar to the same way, if you're giving a compliment to someone for their work how they've done something, big to do for that. Really good way of doing this. This is nice. And this is important and helps people to grow. Other one is what we relate to as improvement. That's where I think is the big, big question, improvement. Because everywhere, anyone has the tendency to relate it, improvement to failure, to criticism, to things. No, I haven't done that. It's not me. Uh, but in reality, it's just an improvement. How can I improve from that, right? So this is one of the first aspects around it. The second one, how do we give that feedback? And this, I think, anyone has been in that situation. You don't need to be a leader. You don't need to be a manager. You're a simple person. You're seeing someone doing something good. You will go to that person and say, hey, you've done a good job. It's really nice. Keep keep it up. Uh, big kudos for that. So. That's something people need to understand. Giving feedback is not necessary to be in a right environment, to be in an office, having one-to-one. -one. It can be simply a tap in the back. Good job, right? So similarly, when we start to give feedback, let's say in a more professional area and you want it to be recorded and so on, we first start with one of the first most important things is to have trust, right? The person needs to know you. As simple as that. Who you are? You come forward and you're giving me feedback. Who the hell are you? Right? Who who do you understand you, you are? What are you talking about? So the first thing is who that person is to you. Is it someone you work with? Is it someone you report to? Is it someone whom you are going to help with? And so on. So the first step for me, the four most important step is first. Get the trust of the person, get the person to know you, who you are, what you're doing, and how you're trying to help. Secondly, and I think this is the one which people tend to forget, is to be respectful. Whatever be the feedback, you need to be respectful, you need to be polite, you need to have a decent way to express it. As simple as that. And definitely, like I've said, you need to understand there's compliment, there's improvement. Once you understand that, it's very simple. Uh, the thing is, whatever kind of feedback you're giving to someone, it needs to be factual. This is the element of trust. I come to you, Abdallah, and I see, hey, Abdallah, you know the code you deploy on live and shit. As simple as that. <laughs> and Abdallah is looking at me, is, what the hell? I have done five deployments since the last time we've met. Mm. Which, yeah, where is the issue? Mm. You know, you need to be precise. You need to be factual. You need to give that understanding to the person like, hey, yeah, this is where you're, uh, there's something, this is where it's good, mm -hmm. where, it's, where it needs to have improvement, as simple as that. And the, the other part is also about empathy, right? Sometimes we have the tendency to give feedback, like I've given to Abdallah, hey, the code you've deployed there have issues, have problems, or, or things like that, without understanding, but what happened, Abdallah? Are you okay? Did you have issues? The last four deployment was perfect, everything was fine. Was the deployment too early? No, you tend to do deployment at 4 a.m. in the morning, and now that's making some changes to you. You know, all that needs to be understood. You understand the factual behind, but you need to understand the person. What happened? What did what did that person do behind? And the other thing is also when we give feedback at the end, 
whatever the feedback is, we need to have a way how to improve ourselves from it, as simple as that. How we together, it's not just me giving you feedback, but also together how we improve it, how we move forward. Yes, we had a wrong deployment. How do we, how do we stop doing it? Where were the problem? Do we need a retrospective to discuss about it? Do we need to go into details? Maybe there was some mistake from other side, the client side, the infra side that has put into such errors. We need to understand all that. We need to gather all that. We need to be factual behind it. And then we discuss about it and then we improve on it. So these are, I would say, key elements behind how you give some feedback. Definitely there is lots. This is just a simple sample about it. The last one is how do you receive feedback, right, Abdallah? Mm. So when we think about feedback, and this is where it starts to be a bit complex. You know, human being is more complex than coding sometimes, right? <laughs> when you, you when someone receives feedback, I'm thinking about myself personally when I started my career. Simply someone was telling me, you don't know how to write a code. Why are you writing this way? What are the issues? What happened here, here and there? And it keeps on going like that. And I was like, I know it better than you. Coded it. I'm the best. No. I know everything. Why do you want, why, why are you coming to me? You're sitting in an office all day. I, why do I need to listen to you? I'm the one who code every day. So the first most important thing is the feedback helps us to grow. The feedback is not here to kill us. The feedback is not here to demean us. The feedback is not here to put a full stop in our career. The feedback is a way to move forward. If we understand it factually, like a feedback is either a compliment or an improvement, we will always grow with it. That's as simple as that. And honestly speaking, throughout my career, everybody, every, be it a developer, be it a QA, be it a manager, whoever I've interacted with, who knows how to receive feedback for me, or the, people, or the people today who has grown very quickly in their career, who has jumped from one ladder to a step higher, in a sense, if you look at it. And the, there is one more, I would say, one point when we say we receive feedback. It's not just every time it's the manager to the team. It can be inverse. It can be easily inverse. It's like today, it may be the manager has said to me something and I'm not happy about that. You know, the way it was said, the voice, the tone, uh, or even in public it was said. I, I, I felt demean about it. It's simple. Go and talk to the manager. Hey, you know, the way you've talked to me, uh, I'll be very honest. I accept those feedback. I receive them. I have no issue with them. But please, don't do it in public. Let's do it in a one-on-one. Or, you know, the way you said to me in the one and one last time, the tone was all hot. And I felt, you know, someone can get emotional. Mm. Imagine yourself in a situation whereby you've lost someone one or two weeks ago, you came back to work, and someone is giving you a feedback. An improvement, a simple thing, telling you like, you know, the code you've done, there were there were two or three bugs that came out. One was very simple. You know, you need to improve your unit, unit testing behind. But the idea here is, I was emotionally already having some issues, you know, and taking that into account, your voice tone and everything, it impacted me, you know. So this is a feedback. Me as a team member, I'm giving to a higher management. And the same way, which is vice versa, is when the higher management expects me to take a feedback, it should be similar. They also should be at a particular point able to take feedback and move forward. Because at the end, it's not an individual person winning. It's a team winning. Mm. It's a team spirit to, to go and work together. So basically, these are some quite of two points you can look at either when you're giving feedback or when you're receiving those feedback or even how to understand the concept of feedback. Mm. What do you think about that? Yeah, very good. Superb. Let me just yeah. touch a bit on that. Uh, <clears throat> so in terms of receiver, but uh, I, I'll share something I learned in a leadership course, and it's very interesting. And since then, I've always used it. So it's very the the concept, the idea is very easy. You just take the criticism. Oh, in fact, it's normally something about you or the work that you've done. So you just take it and put it on the table. So let's say. Me and you, we are sitting down, you're my project manager and I've done some mistake. For me, the work 
I just put it on the table. So it's not about me. I don't take it personal. It's about the idea which is in ta on the table. I don't need to be defensive because I know this happens a lot of time. I've been there myself, but I reframe it. No, it's not about me. It's about my work and it's not even my work. It's just a work that I've done. I put it on the table and now we can look into it. Normally we can do a um, constructive criticism or anything like that. And I'm separate from that. And this is actually something that I've also been using a lot in my presentation during my public speaking events and when I do my videos as well, because I tend to overthink, but the reality is once I have an idea, I just put it on the table and it's no longer part of me. And it doesn't matter if there's an improvement to be done, we work on the idea. And for myself, for us, generally speaking, there are always ideas. So this was in terms of um, how to receive. And then I will come in a few moments. Maybe, I don't know if we will have, we will have yeah, time. I do, I do have something. You mentioned a very good point. You mentioned about being defensive. And th this is the problem. It's, it, it's not about the country you are. It's not about who you are, uh, where you are, and so on. Sometimes people have this tendency to be down on the bush. You know? Mm. Like, you know, Everything is perfect. You're the best. And then behind your back, it's goes like, hey, this guy could do shit. You know? <laughs> yeah. And the problem is like, there's two problems here. One, the person can't give it. Mm. The other one is like, they don't want to receive it. So mm. this is why whenever someone gives a feedback or something, and to be honest, I've tried at home with mm. my wife, it works. <laughs> this is a very good one. It's like, simple, start with compliments. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you've done such a great work. The food was really nice. And, you know, next time, you, you need to improve on the cleaning side. <laughs> you, know, yeah. you, you need to start with a good one, then you go to the improvement one. This yeah. is where it helps people. And the thing which is unfortunate here is, like, not just uh, people take it defensively, mm. but people take it personally. Mm. Like you just mentioned, you need to differentiate that. This is work. And here we are here. We are professional. We mm. want to work. You want to move forward. This, this was something I wanted to add since you were just talking about the different yeah. people. Yes. And another thing just to add when giving uh, a feedback I found really interesting. I've read about this a long time ago. We call this the sandwich principle. So it's just like you've mentioned. You first start with something positive. Then you mention the pain point. And then to finish it, you mention another good thing. Like, yeah, you know what I like with you? You have a very good attitude and I think you're going to go further. So that's very interesting. I, I would give one last scenario because this came out of my mind right now. You, you know who the first person who I understood about feedback? It was a lecturer. Okay? And this lecturer, I was from University of Mauritius. Uh, I have done information system and I was learning object-oriented programming at the time. And this lecturer, and to be honest, I was changing class to go in this class mm -hmm. because this was the lecturer teaching OOP for my cohort was another lecturer. And I was not too keen with the other one. And I, I always heard kids, uh, students saying like, this lecturer is best. His teaching is good. He does very good. And I was like, okay, I like reading. I want to get to know that. I went to the lecturer. I went to one or two session. And then I stayed for the whole semester in his class. And he, he did not say anything to me. He knew I was like an outsider, but I was listening in the class. <laughs> I never discussed with the class as well. But the thing here is what he does amaze me. You know, each time he asks, did you understand? Is there any improvement? And he, and he told me like, uh, I think he was sharing it with two people as well. Like, you know how he went so good in his lectures is like when he started, he sent feedback to students. His first 10, 20 lectures he did, he received feedback from students, how he can improve, where was things which was wrong, you know? And today he's one of the top I've heard and he's moved on. Like, I think his academia has moved very high uh, in terms of ranking today. But the thing I appreciate with this is when he started, he knew he had some things which was to be improved, you know? And he didn't take it personally. And he even shared with me like, uh, when he was talking, he was speaking very, uh, quick and student was not able to grab. So he decreases his pace so that people can adapt and he moved 
instead of just talking, talking, lecture, lecture, he moves more practical, giving examples, embedding cases of scenario life, uh, ongoing life scenarios about European doing in the class. So this was something which was very interesting as, as a scenario. Wow, I think we need to invite him on Tech News one day. <laughs> He's on the list. Yeah. So uh, maybe if you have some more time, let's take a quick scenario that I found happening a lot of time. Let's say you have an star developer that's very good in his or her previous job, like one of the best, if not the best, but suddenly he or she joins a new team, a new company, a new culture. And immediately you see that the latter isn't able to perform or to adapt to the team or culture. We don't really know. How would you tackle this situation? That's a very good one. I did have that, you know, uh, like I've got very senior guys uh, who worked with me in the past. Uh, and to be honest, they were rock star. We got very good feedback from their past companies when they jump in uh, in the company today. Even the interview I've done is like very good, of the best, good actually, everything was fine. Uh, I had a particular case like that. I, I want to say the name, oh, definitely. <laughs> he was a developer at the time, software engineer. He was a very good guy. Uh, unfortunately, he was in a personal struggle, like personal issues. When he jumped in the company, uh, I knew he was good, academia was good, logic was good good feedback from his sports company. I was like, but he wasn't like embedded with the team. You know, everyone who goes to him, share a joke on him. He was frustrated. You know, that, like he took mm -hmm. everything personal. Even me, when I make a joke to him, I remember that well. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me like, hey, man, don't, don't say that to me. And he even sent me a message, please don't joke with me, something like that. You know, oh. that and I was like a team leader at that time. And, I said, no, that, there's a problem here. Mm -hmm. That can't be the case. You're good. There is a problem there. So the first thing I do is like, I try to understand. So I sit with him, do some peer-to-peer. -peer. At that time, we were, we were coding together. So some peer-to-peer -peer programming. I was looking. In terms of work, there was no issue. But mm -hmm. in terms of attitude, adapting to the culture, mm -hmm. you were kind of a startup. You know, everyone sees each other. Mm -hmm. There was that fun environment. And yeah. he was inside not talking to everyone, mm. not want to involve with everyone. And I said, guys, I said to the guy, I said, is there an issue? Did I do something wrong? He said, yes, I don't like your joke. Mm. Wow. Said, the joke wasn't on you. And I, I apologize. Mm. Because I apologize. I apologize to you. And I'm really sorry for that. If that has hurt you. He said, it didn't hurt me, but I don't like it. Mm. He said, okay, but I apologize to you. And let's start new. Okay. So I said, let, let's start to be in a relationship. We start to be friends. I did not embed him in the company. I embed him as a friend first. Like, you know, everything's going on. Cool. Good. Happy. Good. What do you need? Yeah. How I can help you? What are the support you need? Mm -hmm. In code, in understanding the business. Yeah, I don't know how to apply to that mail. The client is very, you know, last minute bug. I say, no worries. I'm here, man. Let, let's do it together. So once it started with the trust, it moves with more like, okay, you know, and then he comes to me and say, you know, these are my problem. These are my personal problem. And to be honest with you, this has affected me a lot. Mm -hmm. And I know I, I wasn't polite enough. And so I said, okay, I understand your problem, but I know these are personal, but try to differentiate it. Forget about your problem when you come to work. Let's enjoy the work. Imagine yourself, you're in an office, everyone's laughing and you're crying mm. uh, or you're wiping. <laughs> but I always told him like wiping his um, laptop. Why? Because he wasn't focused on what others were saying. But slowly, you know, what I appreciate with this guy, and this is something I've learned, this guy took the feedback positively. Mm. Whatever we were saying to him, he took it very positively. He was the first guy who I was able to transfer knowledge around a very, technically it wasn't complicated, but mm -hmm. I would say business-wise logic was very complex. And he was always there. He, oh, yeah, I, I understand. Okay. I told him how I learned and he, he tried to implement it, you know? Mm -hmm. So to be honest, to come to your question in a, in a very quick 10 second reply, mm -hmm. simple. Yeah. Understand the person first. Mm -hmm. Where is he? Not take it as your problem. Sometimes when you say, 
He's not adapting to the company structure. He's not understanding what's happening. He's not happy with it. Mm. Not like, but why? Am I doing something wrong? Am I imposing? You know, sometimes this is something we see everywhere. People mm. tend to feel like IT guys are geeks, mm. or introverts. We don't want to talk. We, mm. These guys are not introverts. I often say to the guy, a guy come to me and say, hey, you know, I'm introvert, I can't talk. <laughs> but when you're on the football pitch, you swear at me. You <laughs> 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 can't talk in the office, but on the football pitch, you can swear. Yeah. So what's the difference here? And mm-hmm. then you start, okay, you start to understand, oh, this is not introvert. It's more like he needs time. Mm-hmm. You need to adapt. And the issue we have, and this is our problem, we focus on delivery, you know. Mm-hmm. Delivery is good. And this is something I've learned, especially when I'm working today with a Polish team and they teach me a lot, you know. Polish Polish people are very direct to you. They don't beat around the bush. They are very honest, kind of. Okay, you have this, let's move forward. But the thing which I've learned with them is like, happy team, happy delivery. Mm. If you can address all their problems, you will have lots of issues that can help them in the future. I had lots of cases whereby I had ladies whose kids were, uh, were sick. I had Issues whereby uh, parents uh, are having, you know, rivals and their kids are, are in between. Mm. You know, in this particular time, and you have the client, and this is a real case. I have the client behind my back. You know, he's taking too much leave. Mm. Why is he taking leave? I say, you don't know. He has problem. Is your delivery impacted? No. But why are you complaining? Mm. You are the leader. You are the team leader. You are the senior. You are the manager. You need to stand for your team. No one will. This is the problem, you know. No one will. No one cares about your team today. It's you. It's your team. It's your baby. It's your your family. Mm-hmm. You know, you spend more than this is other topic which I think we need to take is like how much time we spend at work. How much time sometimes we don't realize that most of our lifetime is spent mm-hmm. at work, yeah. other than yeah. work life spent mm-hmm. at work, other than other things. But in a nutshell, that's what I did around. Yeah. yeah. And it's true, huh? because once you've supported your colleagues in their hard times, whenever they are okay, they will reciprocate back. I've seen it every time, and that's a good thing. And okay, so it's been a fascinating discussion around this interesting topic. And the fact is, we can continue talking for hours on that and get diverged onto other interesting topics such as team management, productivity, and of course, the notorious Agile Scrum issues. But uh, for today, let's wrap it. Um, any other words, Hidayat? No, I, th- I think you're kind of good, but hopefully your Agile concern, I, I hope I can help around this one. So. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.